We're going to turn overseas tonight into that slow motion disaster after that volcanic eruption on La Palma in the Canary Islands. Tonight, the pictures again here, the river of lava pouring toward the sea. This is the fourth day now, threatening to destroy a key village, forcing 7,000 people from their homes. Firefighters could do nothing to save this building from flames. The scene repeated over and over again. And ABC's James Longman in La Palma again tonight. Tonight, the 40-foot wall of lava threatening to incinerate a Spanish village. 1,800-degree molten rock swallowing everything it touches on its seemingly unstoppable march through Spain's La Palma Island. This is as close as we've been able to get to the volcano, and the thing that really strikes you is the noise. Just listen to that. The true scale becoming clearer, lava shooting hundreds of feet up. I could even feel its heat. When the volcano first erupted over the weekend, authorities sprang into action and it felt like things were under control. But as new fissures have opened up, lava has spread more widely and this situation feels more and more unpredictable. Firefighters are working to divert this monster any way they can. It's complicated, it's very complicated. And now uh, we try with uh, uh, heavy machines. They're digging trenches and building walls of earth to try and keep it away from homes. Already 400 buildings have been destroyed and more are in harm's way. Rosavira's Lorenzo was given 15 minutes to evacuate her home. Her neighbor, Ana San Juan, took her in. Now they both wait to see if the lava will come their way. She tells me it's all our work, effort, money of our lives, my life, my partner's life, a family, and you just don't know if you can lose it in an instant. So James Longman back with us tonight from La Palma and right there behind James again the volcano the lava I know about a mile and a half from the coastline now and you were reporting crews now face that incredible challenge trying to sort of direct the lava to keep it away from destroying more towns and more homes. Yeah, that's right, David. And the ash is really coming down now. And actually, since I spoke to you last night, a new wall of lava has appeared right behind us, just in front of a roadway there. It's coming down onto the road. That is exactly what uh, officials here are trying to battle to keep homes away from this endless stream of lava. David? James Longman, our thanks to you and the team again tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.